hey guys welcome back to the channel now in this video what i want to do is basically uh take a look at how we can install the view 3 router in a in an existing project now one thing that i would like to make a recommendation for is that if you're if you know that you're going to be using the router in, in your project i will strongly advise that you just go ahead and do the installation from uh the default from the setup uh, stage because it just makes a lot more sense it's easier everything is already configured for you but i guess if you want to like learn it like how to set it up which which would be good in some instances but if you already know then you can just go ahead and just do the installation from from um from the setup it just makes a lot more sense and it just does things much quicker especially if you're doing a large scale um application so this is the application that we've built before we don't we do not have uh any router folder in here or any router installation or package.json we only pretty much have the default stuff that that comes with with this uh so let's just go ahead now and install it and what the doc recommends is that we do a uh, yarn add and it's view router at four usually it was at next but what i see is at four now so i'll go with that all right so that's finished and uh there we go so we have the router now installed it's pretty awesome uh, I think next would have given us some 0 0.001 or something like that. That's pretty cool from here. That's all that we need. However, now we need to add some configurations now. So what we can do here is we can either create a file or a folder to create either a, um, a router.js file or an in, uh, or a router folder and then an index.js. So I'm gonna do is just to create the router folder so this is the folder here and then i have index.js in here so this is how i like to just save time i guess first thing that we need to do is to do some imports the first import that we're going to be doing is the create web history and this is for the history mode thing that we usually have in view 2 then we're gonna do create router and this is what it's now called so we're doing create router and all of this is coming from view router which is awesome and we need to also import well we don't need to import anything just yet this is pretty much all that we need one thing that we can do is is now well, it depends on how you want to do it because we can just create a a constant uh, array of of objects, or we can pretty much just uh, we we'll would say call it routes. We could do router is equal to new router so the function, and then we can just go ahead now and pass it in certain arguments. So we could pretty much say like first of all. We can put the history set it to create web history we can do that first and this is a function and then we can add the routes which could be an array of routes so we could have just the path and uh, name so we could have something like home for example and uh, we could have a component and this is really dependent on how you want to do it we can if i do this then i'll be importing the component but we also have the lazy loading thing that we could that we can do just the same so that's another option for us but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and go with the, the basic import uh one thing that i'm actually gonna do though is that personally i don't like this i think this is a little bit untidy to some extent so i'm gonna remove this leave it as uh, that put the 
comma here and up here we can go ahead and just create our constant routes and space that in so these will be our routes but obviously you know that i gotta import um this here so before i even import it we also need to have a file in here so this will be in our views folder and in our home dot view so this will be our home view we can just put a template and um, it's view 3 so we do not need to have like uh, we can have multiple multiple um, root elements so we don't we don't necessarily need one no so I could add one more in here so I probably could say root one and root one all right <laughs> this should be root two and uh, we can save this and leave that as is now we can just go ahead and just do the import so we can import home why am i not typing correctly the so home from we're going to actually i don't think using the at symbol is always a good idea in here so the dot one route up and views slash or well maybe the ad could work if it gives me an error then then we'll just adjust that home slash dot view here we go so this is pretty much um the setup there is only one final thing that we need to do add a semicolon there and add one here i don't think i'm not sure if these are necessary I think it's good just to keep the code clean, I guess, just in case. But I don't think they're, they're necessary, but we need to just export, do an export default and export router. Personally, I don't normally use these, but I mean, just to show that, well, this, is, this has ended, I left out, this is all there. So that's pretty much it. We import these from view router and uh, we import the home view that we created here and we create some routes like usual. Then we create this constant variable here, which basically just takes in uh, history and the route. That's pretty much that. There are just another configuration that we need to add in here and that is that we need to add this to the main.js file so this is we already have a view app imported we have an app imported as well so now all we need to do is just import uh, router which is exported which was export exported and we do the dot slash slash uh, router because this is where it is and that is pretty much all that we need because this will go to here so the index so we do not need to like say slash index dot um js because it should automatically just go straight to to the index there next thing is just to do on that use and we're gonna use router that's pretty much all that we need to do as it relates to that uh, before we I'll save this but we need to be able to route from different pages obviously so one thing that I need to do now is to go to our app that view get rid of all of this that is in here can leave that but we're gonna be routing so obviously we need another an additional page in here so let's create the about that view page create template and a div and we just call this about save that we're also gonna need to go back in here in the app now first thing that we we're gonna do is pretty much just do 
a div uh, you can see that the, the common thing that we usually do to create the route element I'm actually doing that now but we don't necessarily have to do that so what I'm gonna do is just to do a router view not views I need to clear this manually so let's just do router view and it like that in here we can do we can create two router links why did you do that so I create two simple router links and uh, this one is just gonna be our home and this is gonna say two I'm gonna create a simple two as well so it's gonna go slash and uh, I'm gonna copy another one and just put it right here and this is gonna go uh, slash about now we're gonna say about and uh, that should pretty much be it so let me just get rid of this because it's gonna throw an error and uh, yeah let's look over everything this should be fine this should be fine it's the same yep yep all right so let's go ahead now and uh i'm gonna clear this out yarn serve all right so let's open this in i think i already had it open did i let's open it again doesn't matter there we go so on the, the home route, as you can see here, we had the two different uh, root elements that it actually works. So you do not necessarily need to add a one single root element anymore, which is pretty cool. So let's now click on about and you can see that it takes us now to the about page. That's pretty much how you set up a, a um, set up the router in an in a existing view project. Again, I not if you have to then go ahead and do it but just go ahead and do the installation from from the setup because that will save you a lot, lot of time so that is pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one